Let's take a look at the intermolecular forces for pH 3. So first off, when we look at pH 3, we don't have any ions present. That's because we have a nonmetal and a nonmetal here. This is a covalent compound, so we don't have any ions present, and we can get rid of this part over here. So no, we don't have any ions present. The next question is whether we have polar molecules. So when we have this covalent compound, two nonmetals, we could have polar molecules. But we really need to look at a Lewis structure to do that so we can figure out the molecular geometry. So here's the Lewis structure for pH 3. What you'll notice that is on top, we have a lone pair. And this lone pair, it's going to push the hydrogens down. We have what's called a trigonal pyramidal molecular geometry. Let's look at that in three dimensions. So this is the electrostatic surface of the molecule. There's a little bit of a negative charge up here and on the bottom, a little bit of a positive. So not really strong like something like water or maybe ammonia, but it's still a polar molecule. Let's go back. And then we ask if the hydrogen atoms here are bonded to F, O, or N, fluorine, oxygen, or nitrogen. Nope. So we have dipole-dipole forces. These are the intermolecular forces for pH 3. Note, we'd also have London dispersion forces. So in answer to our question, the intermolecular forces for pH 3, we have dipole-dipole forces because we have a polar molecule, and we have London dispersion forces. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.